Today I'm in Berlin, Germany attending InterGeo 2023 and I'm excited to be here. Let's go ahead and head inside and check into the conference hall. I just picked up my exhibit hall pass and now let's go inside the conference hall. Check out this exhibit hall. I'm here today to learn more about the products that we use uh, for the serving and geospatial industry. The exhibit hall here is massive. There are vendors from all over the world. One of the biggest things I want to do here today is try to stop at as many booths as possible, see what kind of tech they're developing, how we can use it in serving and in geospatial mapping, and just see how well our industry is doing in terms of development of technology. I'm being told that there's more halls that we can go to and see, so I guess uh, I'm trying to see the people that I need to see here and then go check out the other halls. I'm at the Hexagon booth here at the Exhibit Hall and I've been invited to take a look at some of their latest products that they've just released. Let's take a look and see what Hexagon has been up to and what kind of products they have to provide. We have here the dual time of flight arrays which basically consists of two receiver elements and eight emitting elements and what they do is shooting with one pulse several thousands of laser points simultaneously and with this new time of flight we also have the pulse technology in place, which means we fusion this time of flight together with our proven Grand Slam. So we still have all the nice elements what we know from the to-go in terms of Grand Slam and navigation, so, but on top of it we have now also colorization in real time. Coupled with this very nice BLK Live app, which is easy to be attached, so you can of course use the BLK to go pulse without any app at all, but we recommend it with the quad lock mechanism to just mount it. Then we have here an app which allows you to create a new job. So basically a folder where we put all the scans in. Um, we can yeah, call it Intergeo. And it's as simple as just pushing the start capturing button and the system will tell me what I need to do. So I don't have to be static anymore. I just walk dynamically and as I walk it will initialize in real time and I will see in real time what I'm scanning. We have here a couple 2D view and first person scanning view. We can customize it with split screens. We can individually look on those. We can also 3D look on the scene what we captured so far. And this all while we're capturing data. At all time we can come back to first person scanning and continue what we need to capture. Also we can capture detailed images. So this is a 12 megapixel image which we capture and this has the geolocation in the point cloud where we currently at. This is then also available in the 3D view. It can be reviewed at any time. So just open it and we can also with the first person view continue scanning. And once you just walk and capture your data, you stop the scan and the data is immediately available. So we can once more review it and we can also export it. So we have now the option to create a colorized E57 point cloud. We can also export the trajectory of our walking path. We can also export the detailed images what we captured. That's one way. The other way is we have direct field to cloud connection to RCS. So currently I'm not connected to the internet, but I could establish the internet connection and directly from here upload the data into Reality Cloud Studio, where then you can process further automatically the data to, for example, a texturized mesh. And this is our new first-person scanning field-to-cloud workflow with the BRK to go Pulse. My name is Ilka and I'm the head of LockLab. We are part of Hexagon and our specialty is that we create digital copies of existing assets mostly. So we have a technology where you can take point clouds and other data that's been captured by laser scanners and other, other devices and we then process the data so that we create what people would call a BIM model. So it's an object-based model of very high quality, we give it a nice texture, texture and a nice look and feel and then our clients can connect that to the data that sits in other systems. So the 
3D model acts as a data integrator. So this is now the, the, the cloud-based application. We have a demo model here. So that's a 3D model that we've created from the Milan railway station. So you can navigate through that like in a computer game. So it has uh, different features. You can change the weather, you can rain or snow, fill the sun back out and you can see, um, for example, shadows or sunshine, etc. And then we can walk into the station and then we can start interacting with the data that is associated with that station. We can take measurements or we can do sorts of interactions. The MEP of an existing building and that model is now connected to the cloud-based facility management system. So the facility manager, if he wants to see which part has been maintained or needs maintenance, etc., he can click on something and retrieve the data that sits in our systems. So the, the data will always remain where it belongs, but we can retrieve the data or we can write back into the system. And we don't need to know the technical place or the UID of an object because we can see it in the spatial context. Hi Rami, so this is our latest and greatest CSX8. It's a robust tablet, 8 inch screen, uh, Android based, and it's really incredible because you can drop it, you can submerge it in water, it's resistant to dust, to sand, to water spray or submersion. It's got six function keys, so you can customize those to your use case. Uh, it's great to work with gloves also. I always say this is the only tablet I would ever let my kid play with. Yeah? <laughs> you know, two and a half and hands that are fast, so this is really uh, robust and can be used with any application uh, from the Android world. Right? The latest addition to this, you can use it with Xeno Mobile One. It's our app for GIS professionals. Xeno Mobile One now runs on Android also. It used to run on iOS, but now it's also available for Android. So any kind of data collection tasks, you can really use it. Uh, then upload our data via our GeoCloud, for instance, uh, as an interface, as a cloud service. So today we are now doing basically the Mexico GeoCloud, which is a collaboration portal. So it brings uh, people inside the field for measuring, staking out, uh, building out the whole world. Uh, that they are getting closer to the people in the office. Uh, before they had to take the SD cards, USB sticks to bring the data somehow into the office. Uh, and now with the GeoCloud, we are releasing next week the first product, which is the GeoCloud Drive. It's a generic cloud storage where the people who are using Captivate can upload and download the data from into the cloud storage. And what we are having here is, as you can see, this is a project structure that someone has created. And I can see the data which is inside here. Uh, we have Aski's IFC. So as you know it from the Dropbox, OneDrive, you see all the data which is inside the cloud station. Uh, in addition, we have here our, it's the members tab page where we can see who has actually access to this one. But what's quite new for us is we have integrated the GeoCloud Drive into the file explorer. So everything this is on the cloud storage happening is automatically synchronized uh, with the file explorer here inside. So independent from the office software you're using, uh, for example like an in Infinity, you can use your normal import-export flow, click on it, and it's immediately integrated. And as soon as someone uploaded data, for example here, so you have a lot of zip, uh, zip files, you can simply import them, and they're getting this is the usual workflow that people are used to to this one. And that's why how we are combining um, and improving the workflow between the people at the field and the office. Bruno!
Nice to meet, nice to meet you in person, my friend. Nice to meet you in person. We're in the same uh, sphere, you know, and so we need more people to do what we do, honestly. So, yeah, yeah, that's what we believe as well. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So right now I'm heading to the DJI booth. There is an announcement for a new product being released. I think I know what it is, but um, I'm excited to see uh, what they've got unveiling for us. Here it is placed on a Matrice 350. It's definitely a lot larger than the L1, and we see a decent amount of upgrades in terms of sensor performance. It'll be interesting to actually put it to the test and compare it to the L1 and traditional surveying. I'm catching up with my old friends at Carlson. Carlson is one of the original brands that I used when I was first starting out in surveying. Let's catch up and see what kind of tech they've got and how they're doing here at the conference. So I'm here with Paul and so Paul, tell me a little bit more about all these wonderful products that Carlson offers. Okay, so guys, huge welcome from, uh, from Berlin. We are here to, to show our new products and the hardware and software. In terms of uh, hardware equipment, we have a Carlson BRX7 with RT4 tablet and surface. PC, which you know very well, but also we have uh, some new products for you guys. One of them is Carlson RT5. It's based on our Gamma engine, RTK engine, and a Windows 10 tablet with Surf PC, small antenna. It's a perfect solution for GIS markets, so you can use it on the pole, as you can see, but also you can take it to your hands and use it as a handheld solution with Helix antenna for some GIS applications, so it's very handy and, and very flexible. This is something new for a GIS market. Also, we have some new product from a 3D world. It's a Scan 3D. It has a Intel depth camera combining with a Windows 10 tablets, so you can do the real-time photogrammetry and you can scan uh, interiors and uh, exterior uh, buildings. Everything is processed uh, internal without uh, any internet connection and you receive the, the point cloud. Uh, you can georeference your point cloud and just uh, upload this point cloud to the, to the software in, uh, on, on your machine, on your laptop and uh, get deliverables. So this is what we have. We also have uh, the new version of uh, our field software, Carson Surf PC 7, with a lot of new functionality, including a beam module. If you would like to, to try, contact us directly at carsonsw.com and we will be more than happy to, to provide you with all the details. Great, thanks Thank Paul. Okay, I am here at the Intergeo TV. They're gonna do a uh, live interview with me, kind of to see my experience and how I've liked Intergeo so far. So, should be exciting. Okay. What, what's your YouTube channel? Uh, Rami, R-A-M-I, Tamimi, T-A. Oh, what's your name? Just my name. So hi, welcome everybody. Here's Intergeo TV live from Berlin and right now I'm really happy and honored that Rami Tamimi is here with us today. Thanks for joining us and very welcome. Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to be here and thanks for inviting me. Thank you, Rami. Well, that about wraps up day number one here at Intergeo 2023. Make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel to stay updated on the latest tech. I'll be here for two more days, so expect videos. Until then, I will see you tomorrow.